Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my car, the only quiet place I think in the whole world right now. I have been driven to the point of distraction by this CD. If I hear Five Little Ducks and I am the music man again, I am literally going to scream. So I thought I'd come on today and say I went to Lidl. Went shopping in Lidl. I don't know the words to the little song. Shopping in Lidl. Cheating on Aldi feels so wrong. Um, I've not really been to Lidl before. I've kind of dabbled. My mum and dad go to Lidl, so I've kind of got in with them, but I've never actually done a full shop. So I went in and I thought I'll do our full big shop. You know, the monthly big shop where you spend the big bucks. Like, <laughs> So yeah, so I thought I'd try out Lidl. And I've got to say, I was rather impressed. So I spent a hundred pounds or thereabouts. And I'm gonna show you what I bought, but I did buy like lots of like um, staple dinner bits. You know, the expensive bits that make up like the bulk of dinner. Um, oh yeah, I got a lot of those. And also their bakery section, like Aldi, you need to take note. Like if, if you had Aldi with Lidl's bakery section, I reckon you probably have the perfect shop. If you haven't tried, Blueberry muffins or the toffee um, yum yums. They're toffee filled yum yums and they are just incredible. So let's go to my kitchen right now and I'll show you what I've got. Here is my haul of food from Lidl. Uh, this cost just shy of £100. Generally, I think that is a good amount of fodder for £100. So there is meat mixed in all of it. Um, I haven't separated it out today because it was just, there wasn't a lot of space. Um, so if meat really isn't your thing, then please um, cut out now. There isn't gonna be like up closes of raw chickens or anything. There is just a little bit of ham. So we'll start on frozen food. So I got two of these takeaway pizzas. These look really nice. They're great for like quick dinners. So this one is a barbecue chicken and this one is a four cheese feast. Um, here's four skinned wild pink salmon fillets. Salmon is so, so expensive. So I tend to buy it frozen rather than fresh. Um, it does taste different, but not different enough for the difference in price, but is my personal opinion. So I'm quite happy to have frozen salmon, um, but it makes for lovely dinners. I love to do like salmon on croutons and things like that. So next is this chicken breast joint. It's just got stuffing in it and it's all like boneless and ready prepared, which is great. You just pop it in the oven and then you can put it with like Sunday dinner if you want like a quick fix or whatever. So I really rate these and I think they're only like 2 99 which is great. Um, ready baked jacket potatoes. I am quite good at cooking jacket potatoes from scratch, but sometimes you just can't wait that long because um, they do take quite a long time to cook. Um, so these are great just to pop in the microwave or pop in the oven um, if you just want a relatively healthy but quick dinner. And then I got some beef burgers because sometimes you just can't beat a beef burger. <laughs> Um, I got Dolphs and Bernard Matthews Turkey Dinosaurs. These are a big win with us. Um, and one thing I really like about Lidl is the fact that they have like different things in. So these are um, an Austrian food stuff. <laughs> um, Schweineschnitzel, Nack Wiener Art, uh, Viennese style pork schnitzels. We've never tried these before and I thought they look quite tasty. So I'm excited to try those. And that's the great thing about Lidl is they do have like their areas where they have really different things in. So you always get to try something a bit different, a bit new. Um, chicken chunks, these are great for Dolph. Like I like the popcorn chicken, but it's always southern fried. And I worry that's like, I've got a bit too much flavor in it for him. So I just want something a bit plain, but I don't like him to have like battered things and that too often. Sliced mushrooms are always great for things like um, spaghetti bolognese or chilies and things like that. So I like to keep those in the freezer. And then some potato waffles. Again, they're just for Dolph for dinners. Sweet potato fries. I don't really like him having chips. And I think these are kind of like a healthier alternative to chips. I do make potato fries and wedges and stuff myself, but sometimes you just need some in the freezer just to like quick, quick fixes. <laughs> Um, chopped onions for the same reason as the sliced mushrooms. They're just great in like bigger dinners. And then there's some more chicken nuggets here just for Sal and I to have when we're feeling a bit peckish. Uh, fridge stuff next. Let's start from the front. 
So pick this up for me just for tonight. It's a double chocolate dessert topped with chocolate flavour cream. It's quite delicious. They did have this in like a mint flavour, mint and chocolate and toffee, I think, as well, which looked really nice. Uh, these seriously spreadable creamy squares. I quite like cream cheese to be individually wrapped just because if you open like a massive tub full, I generally use it on Dolph sandwiches and it just doesn't get through that much. So there's a lot less waste if I pick up um, these type of things. I think Philadelphia do like little cheesy pots as well, which are great. I'm a big fan of these from Aldi. These look like a similar thing, like the um, little cake bars with creamy centers. Dolph really likes them and this is with um, milk cream and honey. So I just thought we'd give the little ones a go and just see what they're like. <laughs> um fruity tubes just like from our friend a tube they're like Dolph loves these so we just got those and then the fruity duos again like these are the same ones as you get from um petty flu i think and munch bunch and aldi so you can basically get them anywhere so we'll just have to taste them and see how they compare um i like Dolph to have some smoothies in just to like up his um fruit intake and stuff and then I've got some ham for sandwiches, some beef, because for some reason Dolph prefers beef on his sandwiches to ham. So Sal can have the ham, Dolph can have the beef. Um, some grated cheese. I like lazy cheese because uh, nobody's got time to grate cheese. Um, strawberries. These ones look really nice, actually. They have some lovely looking fruit in there. Lum, 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 lum. Um, giant carrots. Like these, honestly, look at the size of that carrot bunch of bananas um some cocktail sausages they're lovely to keep in the fridge just in case you want a bit of a savory snack oh cherries they just you just never get enough cherries do you in a put it um i think i'm gonna have to plant a cherry tree in the garden because we love cherries in this house uh grapes and blueberries we only ever get the green grapes because i'm actually allergic to red grapes and i don't want to chance it with Dolph in case he takes after me so only green grapes blueberries Dolph will just get through these at the rate of knots he's a bit of a fruit bat i like him to like enjoy loads of fruit um just have to make sure he brushes teeth really well some potato salad is great to go with the burgers that are over there somewhere Easy peel oranges or um, clementines. What do they call them? Are they clementines? Uh, oh, it just says easy peelers. Maybe that's the name of them then. Um, basically what I would call clementines. What do you call these? <laughs> do you call them oranges, clementines, mandarins? Or, oh, I don't know. Those anyway. <laughs> uh, sweet corn cobets. We get these little ones because um, we've got like the pokey ends that you put in either side. And Dolph loves to have some of those with his dinner and some children's fun size pears. I put these in the bottom of the fridge and Dolphy just helps himself. So moving on to drinks, I picked up a couple of their squashes. I've never really tried their squashes, so um, I wonder if these are any good. So I got the fruit and barley summer fruits and the fruit and barley peach, because I thought peach sounded a bit different. Um, and also some Vimto, it's Sal's favorite. He likes to have it cold and hot. <laughs> It makes a really nice warm drink if you want something a bit different to tea or coffee. A uh, couple of alcoholic beverages. Um, this is just like the nicest cider. If you like cider, um, do try these mixed fruit ones. They're absolutely lovely. Um, we don't drink a lot, but it is nice to just have a bit in the house just in case. We have a fancy little tipple or get massively stressed. <laughs> um, I also got a couple of these little tins of G&Ts. This one is lovely, it's a pink one with grapefruit. And then I got the gin and diet tonic as well. So I just keep those in the fridge just in case I fancy a little something when I'm cooking dinner or whatever of the night time. Uh, it doesn't happen very often, but it's nice to have it there if you just fancy a little bit. Um, orange juice and apple juice. I was really pleased with these. I thought to begin with they were quite expensive, but actually you get six in these. Whereas in Aldi, I think you only actually get three. Um, Cheesy sticks, they're fab for lunch boxes. These look quite nice. It's from Concentrate, but it's apple and elderflower. I absolutely love elderflower flavored drinks, so I thought I'd give that a try. Um, dried stuff, I picked up some decaf tea bags. I'm pretty sure that part of my problem with anxiety comes from caffeine. Um, so I thought I'd pick up some of these just to try some decaf to see if it makes any difference. 
Um, and then a big crushed bag of PG tips, our favourite tea, and it was a bargain because it's 50% extra free. Um, some sea salt crackers, again these are for Dolph, he likes these with a bit of um, dairy or soft cheese or whatever on the top, um, they make a nice snack. And then lots of pasta, so just penny, pin, penny, oh, oh god, why don't I know how to say that? <laughs> Pen, I think it is, isn't it? Pen pasta, two lots of spaghetti and one linguine. I actually prefer linguine to spaghetti normally, but these were so cheap, I think these were 20p, and this was like 29p or something, so I like to have it in the store cupboard because it's like healthy quick dinners. And a couple of microwave or egg fried rice. Um, I thought we'd try these. These are eight mini packs of Lidl's um, breakfast cereals. Um, we're trying dog for different breakfast cereals, so I thought this was a, a really good way to give lots of them a try without having um, eight big boxes in the cupboard. <laughs> Tins, stocks upon some tuna. We have loads of this with like jacket potatoes and sandwiches and stuff. Um, these I thought were quite nice. Actually, I compared these while I was in the shop to Heinz baked beans and pork sausages. And there's actually more pork in the pork sausages in these than there is in the Heinz. So if you go into Lidl, compare them because actually these have got a lot better ingredients in. So I got baked beans and pork sausages, macaroni cheese and some beef ravioli. They're fabulous for fast dinners. Um, yeah, and they're great for like taking on holiday as well. If you want to take, you know what it's like if you're self-catering and you want to take a meal away with you. Um, sometimes tins are just the easiest because you don't have to worry about keeping it frozen in the car or chilled or any of that sort of stuff. So yeah, for first nights or self-catering holidays, all brilliant. <laughs> um, this is the korma cooking sauce. Aldi do one of these with the spices on the top. They're really, really nice. So I thought we'd try the little version. Um, the Dolmio lasagna stuff. Um, I'm quite happy at making my own lasagna kind of tomato basey stuff, but I'm rubbish at the white sauce. Um, and then there's a bolognese pasta sauce there as well. Yes, Baba? Hello? You hungry? Yeah, Mummy's just filming a video, pop it. That's right, that is a pear. Do you want to pair now? Yeah. Okay. Then got some mango chutney. I do tend to, like, when I've used these um, sauces, um, do like to have the added extras that you'd have with the takeaway. And um, we always really rate the mango chutney, so I thought since it was here, I'd pick it up. They have got a really hot and spicy version, though, so make sure you, you pick up the right one, because they're all, like, that's one thing with um, Lidl, is they're all mixed in, aren't they? They have, like, three or four varieties all in one box. Um, this I keep in in place of um, soured cream um, for uh, wraps and fajitas and that sort of thing because it just keeps for longer. Your meal planning, sometimes you just change your mind and you don't fancy what you planned and so this just keeps in the fridge or just keeps in the cupboard for like, when's the sell-by date on this? So the sell-by date on this is May 2020 so um, yeah, soured cream would not keep for that long. Gravy granules, always good to keep in because I'm rubbish at making gravy. Um, and also some stock pots. I find these are great to flavour, spag bowl and all that sort of stuff. Some malt loaf, we're big fans of this. <laughs> um, some dried mango, I just thought that would make a healthy snack. Sliced mushrooms, kind of for the same reason as frozen mushrooms, but if I run out of frozen mushrooms, at least I've got some sliced mushrooms in, in case. <laughs> Tomato ketchup, I thought we'd try this instead of like uh, normal Heinz and stuff. Um, golden syrup, I get through rocks of this with making cakes and, and stuff, so I like to keep that in. Some angel slices, I put these in Dolphy's lunchbox. He normally only has half of one um, with like half of another something or other, so they last for ages. And the same with like chocolate mini rolls, so I might put like half a chocolate mini roll and half an angel slice just so like mix it up a bit. Um, is that weird? Does anybody else do that? <laughs> I got some squeezy honey. Um, we don't tend to really eat a lot of honey, but what we do use it for is when we've got coughs in the house. Um, nuts, these are for sale, so roasted and salted cashews. And I've also got some of these barbecue crispy nuts. He likes to have them when he's like watching the rugby or whatever it is he watches, <laughs> boxing. Uh, light brown sugar, I make a lot of cakes, so um, yeah, I just run out. 
strawberry conserve again for cakes don't tend to eat a lot of it otherwise coconut oil i use this to with along with this when i'm when i've cooked my chicken and put my sauce in i then like to add a bit of coconut oil because it makes it taste much more like authentic much more like the takeaway uh marmite you love it or hate it uh mini raisin snack packs those are for dogs lunch boxes and bread so you get a couple of white loaves and a seedy batch and some hot cross buns those look quite nice although we do like the Marks and Spencer's ones that feel like apple they're really nice too uh, these are just amazing chocolate and hazelnut crepes these are dangerous I can't buy too many of them because I just eat them all <laughs> Um, mini pushwari naans. It's very rare that you actually see pushwari naans. So yeah, they haven't got the big version. They'd only got the mini version, but those are our favourites. So I thought I'd pick those up. Um, a marble brioche with vanilla. This is for Sal. I thought that sounded really nice. He loves kind of like plain cakes. Um, so I thought he would enjoy that. And then these sandwich thins, you'd have seen I bought the same kind of thing from Aldi. They've got these ones in Lidl. So I thought we'd just try them and see how they compare, although they look basically exactly the same. <laughs> and some sugar waffles. Oh my gosh. My favourite place that I like to go for dinner has stopped doing waffles as a dessert. And I was absolutely mortified. So I just thought these, I thought I could have a crack at making it myself, but it's probably not going to taste the same. Um, and then their bakery section is just amazing. So I got four donuts and these were three, three for a pound. Hello, Dolphy. Three for a pound. These are toffee filled yum yums. Definitely worth a try if you haven't tried either of these. They're really nice. And then some cotton buds, super duper cheap, but get through loads of them. Some batteries. I saw some test on the telly that said that Lidl's batteries were better than, like, Dolph's getting ready for his dinner. Uh, batteries are better from Lidl than anywhere else. So I picked up some of those to try because we get through loads of them at the moment with that glow track. Um, some crazy soap. You'll have seen I got some of this from Home Bargains, but this is blue. So I thought we'd try it. And this is really mild, soft and gentle, hypoallergenic, dermatologic, dermatologic, dermatologically tested um the one from home bar because you couldn't use on children below 36 months this one so initially i can't actually see an age on this one so i assume it would be okay but i'm gonna have to just carefully read that label just to make sure and then last but not least the only thing i actually bought from their middle aisle was these um, these are lint removables, so apparently you put them in with your wash and they'll pull like all the lint and bobbles off your clothes. So I thought they sounded like an interesting concept, so I thought we'd give them a go. I hope you enjoyed seeing my haul from Lidl. I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed because the middle section isn't like quite so, um, full. Uh, intense what would be the right word like um tempting <laughs> as aldi i actually found that i spent more on actual proper edible food than i did on random chainsaws and things that i really didn't need so yeah so i'm quite impressed with um lidl i really enjoyed it in there the shop experience wasn't too bad it was quite quiet at the time that i went they were just replenishing the cakes which is literally the best time to go <laughs> the only thing i found in my lidl the frozen section was lacking a bit um there wasn't a lot of like frozen food and because we live kind of out in the sticks and i do like a month shop at once I generally like to try and pick up like uh, quite a few frozen bits and pieces and their frozen section was lacking. There wasn't an awful lot there. Do you like Lidl? Do you rate it? Do you hate it? Let me know. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.